Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm here today in the Welsh countryside. It's a pretty nice day, it's dry, it's a little bit warm. There is even a bit of blue sky up there somewhere behind me. Uh, I'm here for the weekend for the Nick Sanders Mini Mac Festival, which is a motorcycles and music festival held here uh, near Machlinith, if I've pronounced that anywhere near appropriately, uh, on the west side of Wales. Uh, there's various things going on, there's bands, there's certainly a lot of beer, uh, I did arrive yesterday, but it was grey and rainy and I didn't do any recording accordingly. Today there's a big ride out. Um, I haven't joined the ride out, but what I am going to do is ride the circuit and I'm going to try and film some of it for you so you can have a look at what this part of Wales looks like. It really is a stunning part of the world, especially when you can see it and it's not raining. Uh, we do to have good weather throughout the weekend, so I think there'll be a lot more to come. I won't try and pronounce the pass that I'm going up, but I will put it below here. And I'll also put a link to the route in the description as a Google Maps link. I'll get on the road. I think this will be a short video, maybe five, ten minutes, something like that. Just picking out a few of the highlights, but I hope it's interesting. And off we go. So I'm just currently riding out through the campsite. You can see there's some people that are still here, still a few bikes around. A lot of people have gone on the big ride out. Other people are either still setting up or are just uh, taking it easy or sleeping off last night's beers. It really is a nice, nice place. Uh, beautiful scenery. Um, there's a few sports bikes might have found it a bit, a bit interesting coming up this track, but on the CRF I think it's fine. I'm surprised to see how many people have come by car, but maybe that's the staff car park. When I came up here yesterday, all of this was very, very muddy and slippy, and particularly this bit, you can see it's that sort of greasy mud. So I'm sure there were some people with road tyres who had a bit of fun coming over this, over this wooden bridge. Oh, nice looking Tenere. So this first bit of road is the A489, which is a fast A road. Uh, I did ride this in yesterday at the end of quite a quite a long ride in the pouring rain with not much visibility. And being able to come out again now and do it today uh, is yeah, it's great. You, know, you you see some of these roads in poor conditions and they don't feel like all that, and you come out and ride them on us in the sunshine, and it's. Uh, what motorcycling is all about. I'm now on the A470 heading northeast and you can see the hills up ahead of me. There's some wind turbines up there on the right which probably means it's a little bit breezy when I get up there but there's very little traffic and it's uh, maybe one of the parts of Wales that's forgotten a little bit. I know a lot of people head to Snowdonia where there really are some epic roads but over here on the west side it does seem to be a little bit quieter. Now it might just be the time of year or the weather forecast or something which has um, you know, reduce the number of people that are out but yeah it's uh, certainly been good so far and looking forward to getting up into those hills. So now into the Snowdonia National Park and as you can see the scenery's changed quite a lot. It's now these steep sided valleys. Uh, it's definitely got a lot hillier than it was out towards the coast. Uh, the roads are still pretty good though. Uh, I did wonder whether my CRF 300 would feel a little bit slow uh, for doing a, a trip like this with as much road riding as there is. But so far it's, it's done okay. I've avoided all the motorways on the way here, so I haven't had to go above 60 most of the time, uh, and it's been fine. So for today I think it is definitely all 40, 50, 60 mile an hour roads, so I think it should be fine. And I'm just going to take this right turn up ahead to head up into the hills up there. So it's coming in this country lane. I can see that there's been quite a lot of uh, logging that's been taking place around here. I have seen a few vehicles with it, so uh, just being a little bit cautious. I'm also following this, this farm quad uh, who is uh, making the most of the space on the road. So the scenery is definitely getting more dramatic. In fact, if you look dead ahead, you can just see the road snaking round up there. This looks like a lot of fun. An interesting bend, just going straight up the hill there. really is just stunning up here. I mean you look at this scenery, you see these cliff sides, it's quite a narrow road but it's not a terrible surface and I don't expect it will be that busy. Uh, it is just single track with passing places but what an amazing place to come and ride a motorbike. 
and this is what I did just to kill a couple of hours this morning because I was waiting for some people to show up but yeah just a lovely lovely ride out it's certainly reminiscent of some of the alpine passes that I've been up and uh, except there's nobody else on it no cyclists no other tourists no other motorbikes I think there might be a place at the top here just to stop but I might just take a couple of photos because it really is beautiful around here So now I'm riding over these moors, heading up towards, I think there's a lake which I'm going to go around. There's a hotel up at the far end where I'll probably stop and take some more pictures. But this, this road, this sort of narrow single track road and the sheep and the landscape, which reminds me a lot of riding over the, the Wicklow Mountains on, on my way back uh, to Dublin uh, on the tour of Ireland that I did last year. Ooh, that was a deep hole. Yeah, it's very narrow. Um, except here it's really quiet. I guess at the Wicklow Mountains they've got Dublin uh, just down the road so there's a lot of people come out from there. This is kind of a loop that doesn't really go anywhere so you get this lovely little road with all these little bumps uh, which you know you're not going to do at any speed uh, well at least I'm not uh, just because there's you never know what's around the next corner but as a way to spend some time on a bike it's just glorious and you can appreciate the scenery and especially on a bike like my 300 where it's not particularly powerful you know you're not going to get the same thrills from a bike like this on a fast day road where it's all about accelerating out of corners you can do that but it's not really what the bike's good at whereas to be able to just enjoy this scenery these winding little little lane and making the most of this the lovely weather we're having here in wales stream down there and a few little waterfalls it really is stunning down here and there's nobody here i haven't seen a single car all this time that i've been up here i say that there'll be one round one of these steep bends but so far so good you can just about see the reservoir over there in the distance so i'm just going to do a lap around that and uh, i'll stop somewhere along there and take some pictures hello sheeps give them a chance there they go back into their field and safety I am going to do my lap around this reservoir on the lakeside ride I suspect this is going to be a little bit more touristy I've already seen one camper van which I think is up ahead and a car coming the other way but yeah really stunning scenery and quite nice to ride around a lake it's coming through here and seeing some of these massive pine trees looks quite unlike what we get in the Peak Districts. There aren't that many roads with this sort of forestry around. I know that sounds like an odd thing. When you get all these like really big straight lines going up, you know, it just adds to the riding experience. So I'm just coming up to the dam wall at the end of the reservoir. It really does look very cool. So I'm going to take a left here, I think. And we'll see what this is like. I guess it's one of these things that maybe looks better when you're not on it. But nevertheless, I'll give you a look because I had to go over it anyway. Probably not that many convenient stopping places. But yeah, quite spectacular scenery. riding back on this side of the lake uh, it seems to be a much bigger road so there is definitely two lanes so lots of these massive trees it must be like an ancient woodland that's here that's quite stunning to ride through and you've got the trees on the right hand side and the lake on the left so I think now it's time to go and find some cake I'm sure you're getting tired of this now but it's another great road this is along the north shore of Lake Bala and you can just about see the lake through there but just beautiful smooth tarmac really wide uh, I did get held up at some roadworks but was lucky enough to get to the front so that now I know I've got a big long road ahead of me with absolutely no traffic and again it's a lovely day to be out enjoying this amazing Welsh scenery so apparently it's just in here somewhere so I seem to find somewhere to park and then uh, yeah I'm going to have some tea
So here we are, I've arrived at the cake stop here in Dolgeflau and it's just a, yeah, still just a lovely, lovely day. Looks like quite a nice little town. I'm just going to go into this cake shop across the road and uh, have a bit of lunch. So I'm going into this place called TH Roberts, which is the cake shop that's been recommended uh, by Nick as the one to go to as part of the, uh, the bike trip. So yeah, we'll uh, see what this is like. So here we are. Uh, I do actually have an omelette and then that is very much what is left of my cake. I probably should have saved it but I was really hungry and I forgot to turn my camera on. I'm going to head back out again and get back on the road and head out to the coast. And we're off again. So it's a fabulous piece of cake, a uh, lovely place to stop in Dolgathlau and yeah the weather's still awesome and just time to get back out onto some of these roads and just enjoy some more Welsh scenery. Now heading west, uh, if you look on the, the BMW sat now, which is the screen on the right, you can see that there's a, an estuary just to my right and I'm actually heading out towards the Irish Sea coastline. So here we are after a morning of riding through the hills. Suddenly I can see out to the horizon over there. You look over to my right and I believe that there is the Irish Sea. Wow. Cool, so now we get to ride a bit of uh, coastal cliffs. It's not quite the Côte d'Azur, but given that I'm in Wales in May, that's not bad at all. Quite dramatic even. Wow, that really is stunning. What a road to ride. I mean, it's not the Pacific Coast Highway, but given that I can ride here from home in less than a day, It'll do. Yeah, again, some more amazing views. Looking out the sea. Uh, guessing we can't see Ireland, that's probably too far away. But yeah, just really, really fun place to, to ride a motorcycle. As you can see, I'm not alone here today. That must be quite a fun place to take a train journey as well. I can see there is actually a railway line down there to my right. So heading back inland now, I'm um, on another of these tiny little single track lanes with passing places. Uh, but the sun's shining, I'm just going up this very steep sided valley. And yeah, it's uh, again not a road for going fast on, but definitely a road for enjoying the scenery and riding somewhere a little bit different. And on this CRF 300 rally, you know, you do have to work the gears a bit, but I don't mind that. You know, it's, uh, it's all part of the riding experience, I suppose. Uh, kind of an interesting little hairpin out in the middle of nowhere. We just sort of came out the top of that bit of the valley and then out of nowhere they just put this in with these amazing views out over Snowdonia in this part of Wales. Really cool. Hopefully not too busy a road because there's a bit of gravel on here as well. But yeah, all good. So much fun. I think whoever's been resurfacing the roads in Derbyshire has been doing a bit here where they just warm it up spray some tar on and then drop some gravel on it which isn't too bad if you're in a car but it's rarely fun if you're on a motorcycle so now just heading through uh, Machlinath which is probably a place I'm also pronouncing incorrectly apologies to anyone from Wales uh, I'm sure you're probably shouting now at, uh, how it should be pronounced uh, yeah it's quite a pretty town this is kind of the main town near where the festival is held and it's known uh, for a comedy festival itself uh, so I've just filled up with petrol here so I'm all ready to go for tomorrow and I've only got another five miles to go and I'll be back at the festival and back at the campsite. Here we are turning back off the main road uh, to head back up to the, the campsite and the festival site. So there's someone out heading out. There we go. With a fun little mile of road, lots of twists and turns, but a little bit wider than some of the little roads. 
I'm half expecting motorcycles to come around at any time but then it's coming up towards the end of the day so I think a lot of people are either heading back or already back there's been a number of talks and things on at the campsite today while I've been out riding hopefully I'll pick up the end of some of them and then there's some other activities uh, set for this evening and more music so yeah it's been a really really cracking day out uh, and I've not been out for that many hours but it's been it's been fun and a real variety of fast roads sort of little windy moorland roads um, lakes saw the sea um, and some cakes so yeah pretty much the perfect motorcycling day for me at least aha I see tents and a row of motorbikes looks a little bit different in the dry compared to yesterday when it was covered in greasy mud so that's it so I'm back after my ride out today uh, it's just been really nice you know some really really cool scenery it's nice to actually get some more miles on the CRF 300 rally because I've not been riding it that much lately uh, and these sorts of roads and the sorts of speeds you can do uh, is just perfect and to be blessed with weather like this is just well it's, it's great you know it's really really good uh, I did fear the worst I came with all my waterproofs and I haven't really needed any of them so I hope this has been interesting and useful if it has maybe I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching